<laughs> I mean, I'm guilty of skipping school for concerts. All right, you see how big this is? This is as big as my head. That's cute. All right, anyway, today we're gonna be talking about concerts. Yay! Hey guys, what's up? It's Anamik and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about tips for concerts, like kind of like life hacks, like how to survive. Cause I've been getting a lot of questions lately because I've been to a lot of concerts and I kinda almost always get front row. So people just wanna know how do I do it? Hopefully I can answer all of the questions today because I have a list of things I'm gonna talk about. And yeah, so if you wanna know how to get front row and just have an amazing experience, Watch till the end. <laughs> All right, so one of the first things, obviously, when you go to a concert is the transportation that you're gonna use to get there. And honestly, some of the things that I would recommend would be to use Uber or public transportation. Because obviously, if you're gonna go by car, you're gonna have to pay for parking as well. Unless which... you're being dropped off. By right, right. Or something. So, especially if you're under, I'd say like 16 or something, ask your parents to drop you off because that saves you a lot of money as well. I would just recommend using public transportation if it's safe or using Uber, which you should definitely do with friends though. Like, don't go in Uber by yourself when you're 16, but kind of makes sense. But some of the transportation that I've used before are trains and buses. <laughs> Another thing that I get asked a lot is how do I do it to travel to another country to go to a concert? And that would kind of be the same thing as flying to another state in the US. What I always do is go to certain websites where they compare different types of traveling price-wise. They would compare buses, trains, and planes. A 40 minute flight could be like a two hour drive and like sometimes driving is just cheaper than flying. So just compare your options. And for staying there, I would recommend hostels or Airbnbs yeah. because it's only for like one or two nights you're gonna be fine not staying in a hotel so the second question I get asked a lot is what do you even bring to a concert and I kind of have a list of like things that I literally need when I go there but the first tip is to bring a plastic bag for all the stuff that you're gonna be bringing because usually you're not allowed to bring in a big bag and bringing a plastic bag you're able to just throw that away so then you don't have to bring in a big bag so some of the things that I like to bring are water bottles and food and once again you can put those two in the plastic bag because after you use them you can just throw it away then the next thing is obviously your ticket but make sure you have it printed out on paper and if possible also digitally di digitally and to also have it on your phone because you know you never know what's gonna happen to your paper if it's gonna start raining and or your phone dies and you don't have right so you want to have both options then the next one is kind of obvious a charger headphones and a power bank but make sure that your power bank charges your phone twice so you can charge it once as you're like waiting, waiting outside and then also ones right before the concert starts yes. so you can take videos then also think about what you're allowed to bring in like what type of bag is allowed because usually they don't allow you to bring in big bags and also what type of camera is allowed to bring in because once again usually you're not allowed to bring in a camera that has a lens that you can take off and also things like deodorant perfumes and water bottles are usually not allowed make sure to look on the website because you can take your water bottle without a cap right but then you will be standing there with the water bottle, bottle. water yeah. without a cap. But what I did was put the cap in Ooh, my Ooh, that's bra. a life hack. If you are bringing plastic water bottles, take off the cap if you are allowed to bring them in. Take off the cap, bring them in like this, filled with water. Put the cap in your bra or pants and, we'll, and then go in. And then in, as soon as you're in, make sure nobody like that's working there can see it. Put the cap back on so you can actually like yeah. dance around with them. The only reason they take off the cap is simply for safety reasons because there are some crazy people that do throw water bottles. That's just not safe. So do not do it if that's your plan. Please <laughs> don't. But yeah, I would recommend just bringing a small bag Bag, like a fanny pack and a or plastic purse. bag with all the stuff that I'm gonna keep listing another thing you have to think about is the weather obviously especially if you're gonna be queuing like waiting outside for a long time if it's very sunny outside make sure to wear stuff that's appropriate for that weather but also if it's really cold if it's really cold make sure to wear a lot of layers and also think about the concert inside because inside it's gonna be really really hot so especially in winter it's gonna be difficult to figure out what you're gonna wear but usually what I like to do is to wear a t-shirt or a tank top then a sweatshirt and then my coat because when you're 
inside you can just put the coat in the wardrobe that they have yeah. and you can bring in the hoodie that you can just tie around your waist and you're wearing a t-shirt so that's perfect if it's really sunny outside make sure to bring your sunglasses and also put some sunscreen on but if it's winter and it's gonna be really cold you want to make sure to bring some blankets yeah. and also that you can throw yeah you throw can get away. some really cheap ones for like one or two dollars and you can just throw them away yeah. or give them to a homeless person I mean there's a lot of things you can do with them and also bring gloves because you are going to die yeah maybe you know, oh my pair gosh of socks <laughs> extra pair of socks that's what a lot of people do too is bring old socks and then they just throw them away or like a pair of leggings underneath their jeans that's good and then like an hour before they go into like McDonald's and take them off another thing you have to bring is cash do not just bring your card because you are going to die if you want to buy food somewhere like in the venue you're gonna probably want to be using cash Cash. And also, if you want to buy merch, you're Mo gonna have to use cash. Ninety-nine percent of the time, you have to have cash. Yeah, you can't use a card nope. when you want to buy. Because it's not gonna be like the venue's money, so that's why they mm -hmm. do cash. If you are buying merch, though, think about the sizing, because usually it's unisex or men's sizes. If you're a women's medium, I would recommend getting a medium if you want it to be oversized, and a small if you just want it to fit normally. Yep. Another thing I like to bring is a plastic bag or a pillow to just sit on especially if you're gonna be out for like eight hours you are going mm -hmm. to die especially if it rained you don't want that so <laughs> and also bring a hair tie for inside the venue because you are gonna be sweating <laughs> you don't want your hair to be like in your neck You're like that's yeah. disgusting <laughs> and make sure to tie your hair before it gets crazy because you won't right. be able to lift up your make sure on. you have your hair up before the performer comes on because mm -hmm. I try. after that there is no more chances for you i'm sorry annie but no and then the last thing that someone asked me already was if inhalers are allowed and yes they are allowed because like you need you don't want to die <laughs> you don't want to die so just bring them <sighs> The third question I get asked a lot is like, what time do I have to be there? Like, just what time? I'll tell you, just get there as soon as you can. Yeah, just get there as early as <laughs> you can. Depends on the artist, though. If you know people are going to get there early. Check Twitter. <laughs> Check Twitter. If people are tweeting, oh, I'm already in line, you know that there's already people Maybe in go. line. Also, the weather really influences people and if it's a school day or not. Because if it's a school Ooh. day, a lot of people are going to be in school, obviously, which you should. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm guilty Unless. of skipping school for concerts. Whoa, yes. really? But um, I would never. <gasps> you did not. You did not. We'll bring an open mason jar. Well, full some of people coffee. are just not stupid. Uh, we kind of had um, a little break because somebody spilled the coffee, but that's okay. Mm. So another thing you have to think about is whether you have VIP tickets or not. Because if you don't, obviously the people with VIP tickets usually are standing in front of you. That's just a fact because they usually have early entry. The main reason people ask me what time they have to be there is because they want to meet the artist. Because some artists, like Billie Eilish, usually come out to meet the fans waiting in line. It usually happens around like 2 p.m. I'd say. Because that's usually when they arrive. If the doors open at like 6.30 or 7. Another thing you just have to think about is the people that are in school. They're not going to be there at 2 p.m if they are school until like three. What I just like to do is to make sure that I'm there before all the kids get out of school. All right, so now we've talked about like all the basic stuff, I guess, and I just wanna talk about some tips and tricks and pretty much like life hacks to make sure that you are not going to die when you go to a concert because sometimes it's just not fun. <laughs> all right, so one of the first questions that I got was what do I do when I need a pee? Because if you're gonna be there at 10 a.m. and you're gonna have to wait until 6.30, you're gonna have to pee. There's two things. I guess you have to think about is the first one is like when you're still waiting in line Which I would recommend going to Burger King or like McDonald's or any type of like fast food thing That's like close to you. You could also go into the venue itself if it's open I know that in Amsterdam they have like someone come out every single hour asking all the people waiting in line Like does anybody need a pee? Really? But any restaurant close by would honestly just work uh, some restaurants however do make you buy something there So make sure you know that it in advance I guess and also do not go to the same place five times that day because they are literally going to hate you make sure you go to different places because they're gonna recognize you they're not gonna be happy so the main thing you have to do though is make friends in the line like as you're waiting outside like literally I don't think I've ever been to a concert and not made friends unless I got there at like seven or eight the reason you want to do that is because like if you're only with two people like let's say we would go to a concert together if we wanted to be like I don't want to go to like a 
a restaurant by myself. Like, no, I don't want to do that. Because someone has to look at, look for the stuff. Right, because somebody has to like keep your spot. Making friends in line with the people in front or behind you is like the best thing you can do because you could be like, hey, I need a pee. We're gonna leave for about like 10 minutes and then we'll come back. Could you please save our spot? And maybe sure. even like watch our food or whatever. Like, please do bring your personal items. Like, do not leave no. your personal items there though. Like your you, phone, money. Like, and... yes, you can trust them with keeping your spot, but do not leave your credit card or anything like that. Do not leave it there. Cause you know, like there's crazy people. Don't do that. That's no. Okay, so the next thing is when you're in the venue and everyone around you and you need to pee, I'm sorry, you can't. <laughs> no. For, unless you faint and you, you're gonna be picked out of the crowd and but then you won't get back to your spot. Just wait for like an hour and a half and you're fine but mm. just don't drink freaking a gallon of water right nope. before you go in. Just don't yeah. do it because... Make sure to save your water if you brought a water bowl with you to save it for emergencies when you're yeah. dried out or about to faint or something. Yeah or you're really hot but don't like drink just because you, you want to drink. Pee. You can't pee. You can't pee when you're inside. So. Are you? Yeah you can but you can come back to your spot. I mean being in the back has pros and cons I guess the next question is what do I eat or drink pretty much what I would say is instead of spending a lot of money that day bring foods that you know you're gonna eat <laughs> do bring snacks though like but don't... not only snacks because they will yeah you want to you just want to make sure that you bring a lunch and a dinner that you know for sure you're gonna eat somebody asked me like how much water am I supposed to drink like during the day and I'd say like two bottles and then after the show you should probably yeah. drink at least one bottle of water like literally chug it, especially if you've been dancing around because mm -hmm. you've been sweating you are dehydrated like trust yeah. me you are dehydrated like you have to drink after a concert so even though if you feel like oh I could bear with this yeah no you drink have water. to drink because you don't want to be that person that's fainting you just don't want to be that person so make sure to drink enough during the day but not too much to the point where you have to pee when you're inside because that's not fun no, then I die <gasps> A diaper! The main question I get asked a lot is how do I get front row? Oh, since we have some tea to spill. The first thing that you can do is get a VIP ticket because usually they have early entry passes in them. I know, for instance, that Billie Eilish, her new tour that's coming up, she has early entry and then like all like merch type things and then a meet and greet. So usually early entry is included in VIP, which kind of gives you the opportunity to be front row anyway. Another thing you can do is obviously just queue, like wait in line from like like 10 a.m. I don't care. Just get there as early as you can. Mm -hmm. If anything happens, do not fight people. You don't want to be the person that's causing drama. Don't do it. Get there as early as you can. If there's VIP, get VIP. Ask people politely because some people literally don't even mind like switching with you. So <laughs> the next question is how do I get the cheapest tickets possible? I would say just go to the original website. Usually that's Ticketmaster or like the artist website that will link you to the actual selling website. Another thing that a lot of my friends actually do is literally buy tickets the day of, which it does not guarantee your entry and it and also it does not does guarantee not... if there are Yeah, if there tickets. are going to be any tickets, but if you're going to be like, "Oh, there's a concert next week that I want to go to." And let's say like the original ticket was like $50 and they're now being sold for 70, just wait until the very last moment, yep. like literally like 2 hours before or like people one just want to friends... get rid of it. Right. One of my friends is literally like waiting in line as she buys tickets yeah. cuz then usually the tickets are going to get sold for like 30 bucks because people like they just want to sell the ticket like yeah eventually like an hour before they don't care about the price another topic i wanted to talk about was fainting um let people know if you're not okay whether that's outside or inside let people know because if you're not gonna let people know you're gonna faint and, and then it's too late <laughs> especially if you're in the front and you're getting pushed like that's what Wait, i do can i have a video where you say i can't breathe <laughs> I need a pee. The next question that I got was, what do you do when you really want to dance, but like you're afraid of dancing? Literally, if you like a song, please start dancing. You're please gonna sing regret along. Like, not feeling You it. are gonna regret not joining the people that are dancing. Literally, the best concerts that I've been to were the ones where I did not care about what anyone was thinking. Like literally just me dancing to the songs that I love. I mean, just watch this. Yeah, so if you like a song, feel free to dance along, sing along, I don't care. As long as you're not screaming, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's the reason you went there. Like, you want to be able to sing along and dance along. Like, even if you can sing, just... 
<laughs> Otherwise, you could just listen to freaking Spotify. I mean, the next question I got was, if I have VIP, what time should I come? And depending on what the ticket says, just make sure that you're on time. Like if it says like 6 p.m. and it tells you to be there an hour before, be there at 5 p.m. However, for VIP, there is still gonna be a line. So having a VIP ticket does not guarantee front row. So if you wanna be the first person <clears throat> I was like, no, we're back. <laughs> so if you want to be the actual like first person to get into the venue, you do have to be there on time. Even though you have a VIP ticket, you're still going to have to queue. So... The next two things I want to talk about are simply because of safety. The first one being, the moment you get inside, check the nearest exits. Because literally, if you don't, you never know what's going to happen. You just want to make sure that you know where the exits are. Sometimes while you're in the venue, they have screens where they show right. where the like, emergency exits are. Yeah. And then also, another thing you have to think about, if you're somebody that gets blisters a lot, bring band-aids. I've seen so many people that are like inside the venue pretty much crying because they're gonna have to stand for another two hours while they have terrible blisters and no band-aids. The last thing I want to talk about is the wardrobe that they have. Like the place where you can put your um, coats and bags and whatnot. Sometimes they do have lockers so you don't have to wait. Lockers, a yes. Lockers or wardrobes are really, really nice. If you are bringing a bag and a coat, I would definitely recommend using the wardrobe or the lockers that they have because you don't want to be carrying that around and sometimes they don't even allow you to bring that in make sure once again to bring cash for the lockers or the wardrobes yep. if they're inside have one of the people of your group put all the stuff in there so you guys get to save them a spot inside the venue the very very last thing is the moment after the concert is to meet your friends somewhere where you know that you can find each other so usually what I like to do is to not find each other inside the venue but go outside the venue like find a spot somewhere close to the venue and meet up there it's the best thing to do if you lost each other so I guess that's everything all right I think that we answered all of the questions that we got I really hope that this is like helpful for people that are gonna queue for the first time or just Wanting don't want to die if you have any more questions feel free to leave them down below because I will answer them for you anyway I hope you guys have a really nice day and yeah see, see you, you next time alone but I never am alone run with the wolves my deep when I roam I keep a cool head like a breeze on a stone but hit me with the beef I will flip like a phone